Hello and welcome to Behind the Lines. I'm Diane Dayton. Today we're going to talk about a really interesting topic to me. It has to do with cars and mechanics and car shows and two amazing women that are involved in bringing something to our area that we really haven't had before. So what I'd like to do is first of all introduce, we've got Lori Johnson, you are the owner of Ladies Start Your Engines. And we also have Joyce Franco, your owner, owner of uh, Forza Car Company. And that's here in Lancaster as well, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So you have been involved with cars, Lori, for what, over 30 years? Yes, I don't want to give my age, so yes, yeah, over but 30. We'll just say over 30 years. <laughs> yes. Okay. So how did this passion for cars happen with you? Well, I don't know that I really had a passion for cars. I was trying to think of a job that I would have, uh, wouldn't have a boss hanging over me. I wouldn't have to sit at a desk. <laughs> and I always like to do stuff with my hands. I saw an advertisement for a school, and I thought, go give it a try. It sounds interesting. So what was the school? It was Penco Tech in New Jersey. Okay. It was a certificate program at the time. And uh, I was the only female there, as you can imagine. It was in the 80s, and the guys didn't really want me there. And that just made me more insistent to finish the program. Oh, I bet. So it was, it was cars? Yeah, it was okay. a, yeah, automotive. I had a certificate in automotive repair. Okay. So out of all the things you could have chosen, you still went into cars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you were passionate about it once you got involved with this, and you decided you were, you were literally fueled, weren't you? <laughs> yes, fueled. <laughs> yes. I, I ended up, um, I mean, my resume is a little insane, but I, you know, I worked at a dealership. I've taught at a community college and worked for a community college for eight years. I've written repair manuals for those of you who remember Chilton repair manuals. Mm. That was a you know okay. you fix your own car kind of book. I wrote right. those. Wow. Uh, so I've, I've done a lot of things like that. And uh, again, being the only woman yeah. in any of those places. So uh, I was realized early on that I wanted to help get more girls, women interested in, in the field because we needed them. Well, it's empowering too. We don't feel like we don't even know how to ask a question when we go somewhere, right? And Correct. that's part of what you can do, right? Right. So then I started my business in 2006, uh, Ladies Start Your Engines. Uh, the idea was that I was going to teach this class for women to give them basic maintenance tips and you know, how to change a tire. We're mm -hmm. gonna talk about some of the language that you need when you take your car in for service. What kind of questions can you ask? And, you know, women were afraid of acting, you know, feeling that well, know. they were stupid yeah. and that people were gonna treat them differently. So I said, well, you know, men don't necessarily know how to fix their cars, they just act like they do. So ask the right questions and they'll treat you the same way. And I would give them some keywords so that if they went in and they just mentioned this word, that person might go, uh oh, they know what they're talking about. Now they might not, but they might treat them different and absolutely and they might get a better answer. So that was kind of the idea behind it. And it took off. And women wow. love it. Uh, it's a two hour class. I typically have up to twenty women in a class. Mm -hmm. And you know they get dirty, and they get to pull a dipstick, and they get to you know do all that stuff. So it's a fun class. That's great. Well, I know we've got even more to talk about that. But Joyce, how did you get involved with what you're doing with uh, Forza, the car company? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I've always loved cars. So growing up, my dad talked about Chevelles that he owned. Mm. Um, I always wanted to go to car shows, local meetups, that type of thing. Um, and so it was actually by default of my accounting profession where I kind of ended up, um, you know, at a dealership where I was doing numbers. Okay. Um, loved the cars even more, and then now owned my, I started my own company. Wow. Well, I think yeah. some of the things that I was reading about you were talking about therapy to your soul. Oh, uh, yes. Expound on that. Yeah. Um, well, just this past um, Saturday, um, my partner and I drove one of our uh, 1972 Jaguars out to the Rolls-Royce Museum in Mechanicsburg, and there was just something about, you know, driving a classic car on a beautiful day. It's oh, just yeah. very therapeutic. 
Yeah, very much yeah. so. So, you know, shifting gears and, yes. and getting involved with yes. what you're doing, it absolutely made sense, didn't it? Yes. So now, how did the two of you get together? How did you meet? Uh, we have a mutual friend who yes. uh, said to me, oh, you need to meet Joyce because she has these classic cars and I think you guys could work together. Right. And, and so we reached out and yeah. introduced ourselves and started talking about what we wanted to do. And we had a similar vision, I think. Okay. My goal is to also reach more women in the automotive industry as okay. well. And so with Lori teaching her class, I thought, that's perfect. So I've had Lori come into my business a couple of Saturdays. We've done a couple of classes. It's gone well. Wow. Uh, people really enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the typical age? Is there a typical age or does it really span that comes to the class? Well, it's interesting because I really thought, oh, we'll get these younger women who are learning how to drive who don't know anything. And that, that wasn't the case. I, I'm getting like... 40, 50, 60 year olds because they're, they've gone through this change in life, right? Mm -hmm. So they're divorced or their husbands have passed away or mm -hmm. you know something has happened and now this man in their life who did everything is not there mm -hmm. and they don't know anything and now right. they have to go and get the car to the shop and they don't want to deal with that. So right. those are the majority, I would say, of the age range of the people in my class. Okay, well that makes sense too. So you do have a website, right? What is that? It's ladiestartyourengines.com. And what will we find on there? You'll see uh, pictures from classes that I've taught. Uh, you'll get some information about my history and what I've done. I have some YouTube quick tip videos. So like, you know, how to That's clean good. a battery or how to change your wiper blade or how to change a headlight okay. bulb things like that. Things that you can do in under two minutes or that maybe you'll learn how to do under two minutes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's always good to know. We can always go there, too. Mm -hmm. So you've got a website, too, Joyce. What yes. is that? Uh, ForzaCarCompany.com. Really pretty easy, right? It well, is. <laughs> what are we going to find on there? Uh, you'll see um, some of our inventory of classic and collector cars that we have for sale. Uh, the bulk of the business is buying and selling classic and collector cars. Um, one of our favorites is to, to rehome uh, mm. cars. So. Yeah. Uh, rather than see a car sit in a garage for 50 years that no one's going to use, right. let's give it to the next generation for them to, to use and enjoy. Uh, you'll also see um, car storage, um, some events that we have going on, uh, that kind of thing. What types of cars do you have now, just out of curiosity? Please us. <laughs> yes, uh, so right now um, we have a, an 89 Porsche 911 Speedster. Uh, it's quite rare, only 823 came to the U.S. market, so okay. we're very happy to have that one in our showroom right now. Uh, a 72 Jaguar Coupe. Um, we have a um, 67 uh, Mercedes Pagoda, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful car. Um, we have a little bit newer, we have a 94 uh, RX-7. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a few so others. I'm sure those that are listening are going, well, yeah, i got to go check this out. So we Absol can come check these cars Absolutely, yes, out? please okay. do. Yes. What are the hours? Uh, typically between 8 and 5, Monday through Friday. Okay. Uh, we can do evening or, or weekends by appointment if necessary. Okay. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a fun time to me, too. <laughs> so, Lori, you were, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you were a mechanic. I mean, you still are, but you did it more regularly, right? Right. I started out working at a, a Honda dealership. Okay. And I spent my first seven years doing that so I was wrenching and then I was also a service manager because while I like to do the work I really like to uh, talk to people and I found that by knowing what I'm talking about and being able to talk at a level that people understand the customers would come to me oh, and wow. I enjoyed that so uh, I was fine with being a manager and dealing with the people okay and how long did you do that before you started Ladies Start Your Engine? Well, I started that in 89. Okay. And I didn't start my business till 2006. Okay, so you were doing so that. So I was, yeah. So you were li literally working into right. what you were, the next generation of what your uh, career was going to take. That makes sense. Well, you were testing the waters, too, with what you were doing and who you were talking to. Well, you know, I never thought, like, I thought, I'm just going to get this job. I'm just going to go to work like everybody right. else. And I soon realized that that was not going to be the case because I, people were fascinated, especially women, and they wanted to come and talk to me. And how'd you get this job? And why do you do this? And so I realized I had an opportunity to be that voice. And mm. I 
was excited about it. So I took it on. So here I am all so these you years are later. an entrepreneur. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yes. Well, this is exciting because I know the two of you have an idea that you're working on together and something that's going to be first in our area. But we're going to take a brief pause and we come back, we're going to tell you about it. You're watching Lancaster Community TV, LCTV 66. Welcome back to Behind the Lines. We're talking about cars. And we've been talking with Lori, we've been talking with Joyce. We've talked about how we need to learn how to take care of our cars, but then also how very cool classic cars are. And the two of you have come together to do for the first time ever here is what? We're gonna do an all women's car show. Okay. So we're looking for women who own their own cars to bring them to show and really to connect like-minded mm -hmm. women. So if you have a, any kind of car that you wanna bring, a motorcycle, a truck, anything like that that you want to bring to the show, that's what we're looking for. When you say like-minded, what does that entail? means other women interested in yeah. cars. In same, cars. Sharing the same passion. Passion yeah. for cars in yeah. some way, shape, or form. So it doesn't have to be a classic car. It can be a current car. It can be a motorcycle, an older motorcycle. So the show itself is going to be held on Saturday, September 7th, right? Mm -hmm. And it's at your location, right, Joyce? That's correct. Give us the address for that. It's 1195 Enterprise Road, East Petersburg, Pennsylvania. Okay. And it's for the car company, That's right? That's correct. Yes. So it's going to be from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. So what's the process? Do you need to get registered for this, or how, how do we do this? There is a, a Eventbrite that we've created out there. You can find it on either one of our websites. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a link on there to uh, register your vehicle. You'll pay, uh, you know, ahead of time. And if you decide last minute, you can still come. Yeah. So don't be afraid to do that. And we're also looking for vendors. Mm. So uh, maybe women-owned businesses or something that's related to cars or, or to women that you think might be attracted to them. Yeah. And they can reach out to us to, okay. to do that. Yeah, All right. absolutely. So it's gonna be little stands and tables around there too. So you can come look at the cars, get connected and purchase some things as well too. Yes, and we also welcome um, vendors who are in the car industry. So we're very happy to have the Rolls-Royce Museum bringing a couple of cars. Uh, we've got Mercedes-Benz of Lancaster, a couple other places locally, uh, but we're looking for more. Yeah. Uh, Jones is bringing a new Hummer. Okay. So we're excited about that. So it's gonna be a lot of interesting vehicles, yes. right? Yes, yes. So tell us a little bit more about Rolls-Royce Museum, Joyce. I mean, that's was amazing, wasn't it? It was, yes. We were out there uh, last Saturday for the, the BMW Car Club event. Um, very interesting facility. Um, the woman, who, the executive director, Sarah, uh, very knowledgeable, very welcoming. I would definitely uh, invite anybody to go take a look at it. Okay, yeah. Once again, a woman in a position yes. with that too. It's, it's something to talk about as well. Yeah. So, Lori, I know you're gonna probably also let people know more information about Ladies Start Your Engine at this particular event too, right? Yeah, I mean, the idea too is to also introduce women who don't know either one of us that, you know, we're out there. Yeah. And, you know, if you wanted to come and buy a car and you didn't feel comfortable going to talk to a bunch of guys, you know, Joyce is gonna be there to yeah. sell a car. And if you're interested in more about learning about your car or, want to take one of my classes, then it'll be an opportunity to talk to me as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What comments have you heard from women after they've taken your classes, Lori? Uh, that they feel so empowered. Mm. I, it's really been fun because I get hugged at the end of some of my classes where <laughs> sure. they all clap. You know, yes. it's like, who teaches a class like that? Yeah. But, you know, I don't think we realize how much people appreciate being taught something that they can use in their everyday life and they I mean, most women really hate taking their vehicle in for service mm -hmm. because they, they they get anxiety about it. You know, they, what am I going to say? How am I going to be treated? Am I going to get ripped off? And right. so it's giving them a better comfort level as well and making them feel confident and not afraid to ask questions. And, you know, I think that empowerment on that basic level also makes individuals feel more empowered in other areas of their lives, too, Correct. don't you think? It's so much more than just teaching them about cars for yeah, me. Yeah, it is, <laughs> isn't it? It's a life skill and it's uh, very personal, very personal. 
So let's see, if we do this fabulous car show on the 7th, you're thinking about trying to do it annually, aren't you? Is that the teaser we want to put out? That is the goal. Yep. That is the goal. So are you going to have, I know it's like 10 to 2, are there going to be food trucks there as well and things yep. like that? Yes, we have a nano burger truck uh, coming. Okay. Uh, Square One Coffee will be there with pastries and espresso. Oh, nice. Um, and we're going to have a DJ, and I believe you have a... We have a, a woman coming with um, Philadelphia ice. Yes. Yeah, so Ooh, okay. kind of a last-minute addition. Okay. And, and, of course, our big draw that I'm pushing is that we were able to get a woman race car driver to come, and she's bringing her car. So I think it's so important for girls, women, to see women mm -hmm. doing these things. Absolutely. So uh, I was really excited. She, uh, Bree Hershey, she's not too far from us. She was willing to yeah. trailer her car in, so I'm excited about that. Well, I mm -hmm. think, too, in looking at her background, she started at five, right? What was it called, a quarter midget that yeah. she... Yeah. Her father raced, so okay. she was always at the racetrack, and right. so she has a passion for it, and now she does it Still. She still does yes. it, yeah. And so I'm really excited about it. It's going to yeah, be a fun day. I know. So we want to try to encourage people, too, if they're interested in uh, bringing their car or motorcycle, mm -hmm. or if they're interested in being a vendor there, to reach out and uh, get the information. Now, does it cost to be a vendor? It is. Table? $50 is what it is. $50, which yes. is great. Does it cost to attend? No. no, it's free to attend. It's free to attend. Well, so we want those people too. You know, you don't have to own a car to come. If you yeah. just want to come and and Check it's a it great out. family event. You yeah. know, bring your kids. Okay. Uh, one of the things that we're losing is uh, training kids on how to work on cars anymore because mm. they're so. The technology is so advanced that we don't do that anymore. Right. But that doesn't mean that they can't be interested and learn about it. No, and there's certain things, and I think you were talking about too, fundamentals like changing a tire. The fluids in your car, how to maintain your battery, inspect your belts. What belts? Where are they? You right. know, um, mm -hmm. replacing fuses and light bulbs and wiper blades. That can be all very simple right. if we know how to do it, right? And save you money because absolutely now you can just go to a parts store and pick it, absolutely. pick it up and do it yourself. Have you ever thought about doing a class for men? I have. I've been approached more now than I, I would, and I, I'm certainly would do it. I just would always keep it separate. Yes. But I, I have no problem as long as the guys don't mind learning from me. So <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Well, with your track record, Lori, I mean, seriously, you've got a lot of knowledge to impart. So if we look at all of this, is there something that you'd like to share about what you do that we have not talked about? Something that might be, oh, personal and just um, gets you excited about what you do. You probably get excited when you connect a car with a person, don't you, Joyce? Yeah, yes, that's yeah. correct. What happens? I mean, I'm sure you have stories with that, don't you? Yeah, one of my most favorites was um, a little Fiat that we sold. Um, they took it cross country. They didn't trailer it back um, halfway across the states. Um, they, they drove it. Yeah. Um, and they they brought a little clementine and they took a whole photo shoot out front with the clementine because they named the car clementine oh. and uh, that was just a good day to to see that happen um, I was there that day and I saw them oh, driving away there? and I was like they're driving it across the country that's right that was the day <laughs> yeah. they were teaching a class yeah so what year yeah. was the Fiat 1971 the 71 yes. okay yeah. all right Yes. And to see the connection, that, that's what makes it yes. really real, doesn't it? There was a gentleman who uh, imported it from Italy when he moved to New York, and okay. Manhattan was not the place for it, so we yeah. bought it, and yeah. yeah, connections. What about you, Lori? What comes to mind? Any, any I think um, I started many years ago teaching classes for Girl Scouts, Ooh, and they okay. have a car care badge. And so uh -huh. I taught them basic of what they needed to know to get that badge. And one time when I taught the class, the girls had put together, they gave me the badge. It came in a little frame, so I still have it at home. So I have my car care badge from the Girl Scouts. So. Oh, I think that's very cool. That says a lot, you know, and you're starting them young too. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Wish we would have had that. I know. You know. I don't remember a car care badge when I was a kid. No, me either. <laughs> yeah. It was like that. nodding or I don't even know what, cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sewing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All of that, I yeah. know. 
So once mm -hmm. again, let's tell everybody what your websites are so we can send them there. Lori, what's yours? So ladystartyourengines.com. Dot com and Joyce? ForzaCarCompany.com. That's F-O-R-Z-A. Correct. Correct. Yes. Okay. And we can find everything that we're talking about today. And you can mm -hmm. find out even more and find out especially about September 7th, that Saturday with that first car show here. Thank you so much for taking time today. Thank you for it having me. It was so yeah. good to just connect with you and to see the difference that you're making. And you're really empowering people. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today, too. I'm Diane Dayton with Behind the Lines, reminding you to look behind the lines. You might be surprised what you find.